Hi everyone, uh, in this video we are going to discuss about this problem which says that we have to sort a stack using recursion. Alright, so when we are talking about recursion, uh, basically this is a natural extension of the problem uh, that is reversing a stack using recursion. So if you have not watched, you can uh, quickly go and watch that video uh, because that explains the basics uh, how we are going to approach in this problem. But uh, let's you know quickly go through them. So when we are talking about recursion, we are just talking about the function call stack. So in indirect sense, we are using another stack to sort a stack basically. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, the how do how can we use recursion here? Okay, so the way that we can approach this problem is suppose we have a stack, okay, and we have to sort it in, in a way that the top element is largest. Okay, so this is the way that we have to uh, s sort this particular stack. So suppose we have uh, uh, three, five, three, five, four, two, one. This is our stack, and we have to sort it. So what we can do here is we can uh, use recursion to pop out the elements, right? So if we start popping out the elements from this particular uh, stack, what we will have. Uh, since it is a leafoid structure, uh, we will have one, then we will have two, then we will have four, then we will have five, and then we will have three. Okay. Uh, so the way that we have to approach this problem is that while inserting, we insert in insert it in such a way that if current element if you know if currently our stack is empty, then whatever element we have, we will just insert it right if the current element is larger than all the elements on the stack we will you know just insert again but if the current element is smaller basically in the stack there is a element which is larger than the current element in that case we will you know uh, take out the elements till all the elements in the stack are smaller then we will push the current element and then we will you know uh, Put, push back all the elements uh, that we took out right so this is the approach that we are going to follow here uh, if you uh, if you have watched the reversing video so uh, you must remember that the code for reverse was something like we have this stack here okay, we will have this stack here and we will call it by reference and we will have the base condition which we will write soon and after that, what we will do, we will one by one take out the elements, top elements of this stack, st dot pop. Then we will recursively call for the stack, which has, you know, uh, one less element. And then we will uh, insert at bottom. This was the approach that we used in our previous problem, right? In this problem, we are going to do some modification here. Okay. So uh, what was inserted bottom inserted bottom was the function which uh, which for every element, it was taking out taking out, uh, suppose we have this, uh, this type of structure and current element is four. So to insert for what this would do, this will take out all the elements one by one, then you know, push four, then return the control back to one, which will push one and it will return back to two, which will push two and it will return, it will push three. So s the stack will, you know, start looking like something like this. In this case, we have to pop out the elements, not till the stack is empty, but till we have, we do not have, uh, all the elements in the stack are, you know, smaller than our current element. So there are very little modifications that we are have, that we have to do and uh, this exact code will work fine. So uh, let's, you know, quickly write the algorithm and then we will get to the program. Let's discuss about the algorithm to perform this operation. All right. So first thing we will, what we will do, we will. And please uh, uh, don't mind my spellings recursively call for stack and q 
keep and if you feel that uh, the speed is slow you can you, you are free to you know uh, uh, increase the speed keep popping the top element then while pushing element back push it in such a way that all the element in stack are smaller than current element okay okay so this is the algorithm that we will use and let's write the code the thing that you all are here okay so uh, we will have the void and uh, we won't use the reverse name here because we are not exactly reversing we have stack we have stack of integers and we will call it by reference so uh, we are you know modifying the same stack we don't uh, we are not working on the copies we will write the base condition whenever you are using recursion the first thing that you do is write the base condition that is very important if stack is empty we return and since and since uh, it will return so we don't have to write the else part here we have int element as st dot pop right we will pop and then we will recursively call for sort st and now we will insert sorted way Uh, you can name anything right so st and we have element and this is it this was the parent function and now we will write the insert sorted way uh, we have void insert sorted way we have this tag right which we have called by reference and we have the element all right now here what will be our base condition the base condition would be when we have just you know just ask yourself when are we inserting actually we are inserting when the stack is empty right and when the elements all the elements in the stack are lesser than our current element that are those are the two condition when we are inserting we are pushing in the stack so if st dot empty is true or st dot top is less than our current element if this is the case then we do push we do st dot push the element right and we return and if th this is not the case then we will uh, simply uh, basically we will pop out the elements one by one so we will have int tp as st dot pop right we will recursively call the same function insert sorted way for this stack right and then we will just simply push back all the elements that we have taken out one by one so this is the code this is the approach that we are using in this problem uh, let's quickly talk about the time complexity and the auxiliary space that we have used if we talk about time complexity it is very clearly big o of n square and why do i say that I say that because uh, for in the worst case for every element for every new element you may have to take out all the elements right uh, so for example our uh, stack was initially sorted in ascending order in that case we would have to uh, for every element uh, if we have like if here we are inserting four then we are taking out five right so it may happen that uh, for every element you have to take out all the elements so 
when uh, then in that case we will have the worst case which will be equal to big of n square and if you are talking about the auxiliary space then we will use the big o of n auxiliary space of function call stack all right so this is our solution of this particular problem